In these videos, we'll talk about network science. This means modeling real systems and data as mathematical networks or graphs. The birth of network science came from a seemingly trivial problem. In the city of Königsberg, modern day Kaliningrad, the residents amused themselves by attempting to walk across all seven bridges that connected the city without crossing the same one twice. No one could figure out a route, but the question remained to prove that it was in fact impossible. In case you're wondering where this is, it's the Russian exclave on the Baltic Sea. The Bridges of Königsberg problem was first solved by the great Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler, who in the process invented what came to be known as graph theory. Euler represented each landmass as a node, these are the circles labelled A, B, C and D, and each bridge crossing as an edge, the lines connecting them. The object consisting of nodes and edges is known to mathematicians as a graph. This has nothing to do with the plot of y against x, they are just two things which happen to share the same name. In these videos, graph and network mean the same thing, though I'll usually refer to networks instead of graphs. Let's attempt to walk around the city, starting at node C and crossing the bridge to get to B, going from B to A, from A back to B, from B back to C, C to D, where to now? If we go to B, we've already used all the bridges connected to B, so we're stuck. If we go to A, we've already used the bridges there too, so we're stuck again. It seems like this route can't work. Euler was able to solve the problem by abstracting away from bridges in Königsberg to nodes and edges. To see that a walk is impossible, notice that, except at the start and end of our walk, when we arrive at one landmass, represented by a node, we must leave again by a different bridge, represented by an edge. This means, except at the start and the end of the walk, all nodes must have an even number of edges. However, A, C and D have three edges, while B has five. Thus, no walk is possible where we cross all the bridges only once. The original graph theory problem is about transport of people around the city. Graph theory is still extensively applied to solve problems in transport. For example, if each node is a city and each edge is a road, we have an abstract representation of the highway system. If each node is a port and each edge is a shipping lane, then we have a representation of the global supply chain. Another application of graph theory is the study of how people are connected. Like a lot of graph theory, the six degrees of separation idea began in Hungary. Author Fringis Carinthi, shown here, came up with the concept in his 1929 short story Chains. The idea is that, by asking my friends to ask their friends to ask their friends and so on, I can quickly be connected with almost anyone in the world. The first experiment which really popularised this idea was Stanley Milgram's Small World Experiment. Stanley Milgram is a very well known American psychologist shown here. His basic idea was to choose individuals at random in the US cities of Omaha, Nebraska and Wichita, Kansas to be the starting points and Boston, Massachusetts to be the end point of a chain of contacts. Participants were sent letters that detailed the study's purpose, a signing roster and basic information about a target contact person in Boston. They were asked whether they personally knew the contact person and if so to forward the letter directly to them. If they did not know the target then the participant was to forward the letter to a friend or relative who was more likely to know the target. 232 out of 296 letters failed to reach the destination. Of the 64 letters that got there, some arrived in only one or two steps, while some required as many as 9 or 10 forwards. The average was around 6. Though Milgram didn't use the phrase 6 degrees of separation, the fact that his average came out as 6 is likely the origin of the popular catchphrase. A variation of this experiment is the game Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, a movie trivia game where you attempt to connect any actor to Kevin Bacon via a chain of shared credits. For example, Angelina Jolie was in the movie Changeling with John Malkovich, who was in the movie Queen's Logic with Kevin Bacon. The path from Bacon to Jolie requires two steps, so Angelina Jolie is said to have a Bacon number of two. This phenomenon, that people are linked by fairly short change of social connection, is also studied using the mathematics of graph theory. In a social network, nodes are usually individuals and edges usually represent some sort of connection between people, for example being friends on Facebook, acting in the same movie or co-authoring an academic paper. By representing social networks as mathematical graphs, we can discover interesting features of the network which tell us how the network forms clusters or how long it takes information to propagate. These metrics are not only useful for answering trivia questions, but also for understanding the spread of ideas, news, innovations, disease and more. In the following videos, we'll learn more about how to understand and characterise abstract networks and then apply some of these ideas to real systems.